In this course, we are going to talk about Aspen Heises Expert User Certification Exam. So this exam is conducted by Aspen Tech and the target audience are the engineers who are interested in process or chemical or modeling research or product. Okay, so there are some details, exam details. So to take Aspen Heises Expert User Exam Certification, you must be before expert, you just need to be a user exam this is a different exam that you can register also from Aspen Tech website uh, the exam is divided into two parts MCQ and the lab and the questions inside the lab will be also MCQ the duration is four hours but you can finish before this time the passing score is 70 percent and the soft theory where that you are going to use is Aspen Heises this exam expires after three years and the number of questions is 73 uh, these are the important questions and the level is as been certified expert user so it's important to prepare the exam to be able to register for the exam you must to be as been certified user without being an expert okay here uh, these are the topics here the study guide these are the topics that you are going to be tested in so if we click the study guide we'll have this one Aspen Heise study guide okay so here they are giving you information about the courses that you can take in Aspen Tech okay and this are the information the MCQ weight is 30% and the lab is 70% okay um, the exam is divided into midstream and upstream and or safety so you can you must solve the midstream part okay after that, you will have an option to choose between the upstream and the safety analysis, okay? So if we go back, the midstream, you need to study the acid gas process, the gas dehydration process, sulfur recovery, and the sour water process, okay? This is the first part related to the midstream application. For the upstream application, it's all related to the piping. So the pipe segment, the line sizing, and hydraulics. For the safety, you will have different scenarios like a fire scenarios and relief scenarios and PSV data. Okay, so you can choose between upstream or safety. For this section, the column models, you have been tested in this before as a, uh, as been user. In this section, you we will cover it again, uh, um, but it's different from as been user. In as been user, we talked about the columns, the design, the, the number of trays, how to enter the reboiler duty and the condenser duty. But here it's somehow different. Uh, you are going to talk about the troubleshoot. You will be tested in the column internals and so on. Okay. These are about Aspen Heises and this information is not uh, important. Okay. Back to the website. After the exam preparation, you have already the material here. For, you can download it from here, study guide exam guidelines these are important because you need to have webcam in your uh, computer because during the exam your camera will be on and a monitor will be monitoring you okay also you need to have a high speed internet because you are going to sol solve the exam in, in another computer so you are going to use another computer or another device that you can access online a slow a throw cloud share uh, to take the exam also it's always recommended to use google chrome in this exam okay after the exam this is uh, information or instruction to how to share your information or credential on linkedin and so on to, to register for the exam you will have different dates okay times and the dates for time zones okay so be careful with the time zone because sometimes uh, it could be 3 a.m in the morning okay also be careful with the language because uh, here all the exams will be in english but sometimes there are exams in other language okay uh, you also there are different versions of aspen houses uh, in this course we are going to use version 12 but hint here in this exam you will be tested in version 11 here 11 and so on okay so this is all about the exam registration now we are going to talk about what we are going to cover in Aspen Heises expert user exam certification as we mentioned before at ECE 
or ASB certified expert, you will be tested in four things, okay? Three of them, you need to choose three of them. The first one is the midstream topic, the midstream topic. The second one is the column, column. The third one is the upstream. And the fourth one is safety, safety topics, okay? It's recommended before the exam, before entering the exam, to choose between upstream and safety and focus on it during this, your study. Okay, so this is what will be covered also in this course. For the midstream, the first one here, we will cover the acid gas process. Acid gas. And don't worry if you don't have uh, enough information about the chemical process uh, for uh, the acid gas because here we will not only cover the um, aspen part but we also we will cover the technical part so how the process works what is the in and the out uh, of the process and what are the byproducts second part other than the um, acid gas will be gas dehydration gas dehydration and again we will cover the dehydration process then we will talk about the Aspen part, okay, because you will not be able to enter the data or understand the lab uh, that you will be tested in without understanding the process itself. After that, we are going to talk about sour water stripping. Stripping. This is for the midstream. These three topics must be covered, okay. The column and this one, again, we have talked about or you must be studying it if you are Aspen certified user but in this case for Aspen certified expert it will be more advanced and also for the column you will have a lab and through this lab you will be asked to enter data okay what does this mean you will have your simulation or you are going to draw the lab yourself and you also you will enter the data inside the column okay so you are you here you will be tested to know if uh, if you know how to enter the data or the exact place or what does uh, the reflex ratio means and how to enter this data inside the column okay uh, third you will choose between the upstream or safety so be careful if you are going to choose upstream just focus on the upstream because you, uh, for has been certified expert you have a lot to cover okay so after that after solving this too you will be asked to choose a topic between upstream and safety through through this course we are going to use aspen heights version 12 okay and if you have another version it's it will not be that different but it's recommended to be after version 11 so uh, version 11 or after that uh, because some of the features might be uh, there in the previous uh, versions okay so we here we start from new and we create a new case it's also worth mentioning that through this course we will cover some of the fundamentals like something some topics related to Aspen user because in some cases some people don't know how to uh, create maybe um, a petroleum assay so we might cover it here okay so after starting you will be able to enter the data as a component list to choose the fluid package and also here you we can do our simulation if you are a complete beginner from uh, Aspen Heises and you are not Aspen certified user, this course might fit you if you are able to catch a lot of information in a um, small amount of time. Because uh, generally in the course for the uh, new user, I talk about add and I'll explain what does a methane mean and ethane and so on. And also, um, for the fluid package, we will discuss some about the method assistant and how to use it, okay? Or we can add it from here. So it's recommended besides um, taking this course to be able to uh, get the best of it, to study also something is uh, related to fundamentals to be as been certified user, okay? After that, we are going to the simulation. Here you will have all the 
equipment or tools that you are going to use so here we can mix two streams and so on so again it's recommended to study this course and if you are not as been user it's recommended to study um, a course related to uh, these fundamentals and then come back to this course because this will be uh, way more advanced okay even if i'm going to use them um, some things that is um, um, <clears throat> fundamentals like I'm going to create a stream in this course and I'm going to enter its data but this is not what this course about it's for people who know what is the stream is and uh, how to do the mass balance and the heat balance okay uh, but it's also recommended to follow up in this course if you are able to you have enough amount of time to study this amount of material and in our next video, we are going to start uh, our course as been certified expert.